The island of Bali in the Dutch East Indies, one of the very last to be freed of the recent Japanese invasion, has a population of over a million inhabitants living on a fertile strip of land not more than 90 miles long and 45 miles wide. According to history, about 500 years ago, tribes of religious refugees from India invaded Bali, intermarried with the natives, and ultimately brought about all that is known today as Balinese. The chief occupation of the people is in cultivating the rice paddies, for which this island paradise is famous. When the rice is ready to harvest, the whole village joins in the reaping, each person being entitled to a third of the amount he gathers. It is a remarkable fact that the little island not only grows enough rice to feed its own population, but also exports large quantities to foreign ports. In keeping with the oriental custom, the women do most of the work. But in this island paradise, enough food can be produced in four months to satisfy the wants of the natives for the whole year. The women of Bali are noted for their erect carriage and splendid poise. From early childhood, they carry heavy loads upon their heads, developing strong and upright figures. The native homes are usually built in compounds, which include several families. An interesting feature of these compounds is the fact that domestic controversies are dealt with at special meetings always held at midnight in moonlight. The favorite food of the Balinese is suckling pig, cooked with spices and eaten with hot sauces. These strange-looking hogs are typically Balinese. They are fed upon banana leaves, coconuts, rice, and all the other foods that nature so bountifully bestows upon them. The marketplaces of Bali are particularly picturesque. Women assemble here to do their shopping with money that ranges in value as low as one-twelfth of an American cent. And all the necessities that the average household does not produce may be purchased here at bargain prices. Every village has its temple, erected by the people of the community. And in association with the temple is the gamelan, or Balinese orchestra. Although the Balinese call themselves Hindus, there appears to be little in the practice of their religion that reveals the harsher features of Hinduism as exemplified in India. In fact, many Orthodox Hindus regard the Balinese as outcasts. Concerts take place as a rule by night in the precincts of the temple. There is no music to read, for none is written, and sometimes the moon alone suffices to illuminate the scene. The music is learned by ear and handed down from generation to generation. The orchestras are composed of local men who, regardless of position or caste, are brought together by their innate love of music and dancing. The chief ambition of little Balinese girls is to become temple dancers, and the training for this most exalted profession begins when they are about four years of age. Their professional career, however, only lasts until they are 14, at which time they retire as temple dancers. among the dances of Bali is one called the Kachak, and it never fails to attract the entire population of the village in which it is performed. This unique event usually takes place at night, but we were successful in arranging a daylight performance especially for our benefit. We are also fortunate in being able to record the original sound, 
for the first time in motion pictures. Conflicting stories regarding the real meaning of this strange ceremony, but it all seems to be based upon the age-old struggle between the forces of good and evil, in which good triumphs, as it eventually does everywhere else in the world. The Kachek dance, as it is called, is believed to have originated here, but after hearing the local outbursts that go with it, we wondered if some globe-trotting Balinese might have borrowed a few ideas from the cheering section at an American college football game, or vice versa. symbolic, it is gratifying to learn that in the end the forces of evil are overcome by the forces of good. And so goes the everlasting battle between the powers of light and darkness in the island paradise called Bali. Bali. 